Is it recording? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yep, there we go. Yeah. Another gorgeous day in Bali. The Balinese are preparing for the holiday of Galungan, where they put the perjure up. These things behind us will show you. Uh, Galungan is the day when ancestral spirits come back to Earth. It lasts about 12 days, I think. Just a beautiful time to be in Bali. We're at Nadi Nuri's for the best ribs in Ubud. There's really good ribs. They're rich and they have a uh, sweet taste to them. I, I have to recommend these ribs, they're really good. <laughs> Today we are, ce they are celebrating Galongan. Galongan. Our hosts that we stay with have dressed us up in appropriate attire to go to the temples. Our hosts were just so excited to put us in the appropriate dress and include us in the longan. It's just a really great way to experience what's going on in the world. It's, it's amazing. from the department of what could go wrong. Power lines, narrow alleyway, let's fly a kite. More tacos in Bali. Check out Taco Casa. Look at that, Mexican food in And that pretty much tells the story. People keep asking Chris and I, how do you travel with such a small budget? Every place we go, there is somebody that says, oh, I can never do that. I'm so far in debt. I'm like, yes, you can. Let me show you. I have a passion for uh, Excel spreadsheets and helping people get organized. I show them how to follow a budget and how they can pay off their credit cards. It is so much fun. I'm having a blast with my passion. I love doing it. Sanur of Bali for a couple days at the Prama Beach Resort. Paradise! So those are our visas to stay in Indonesia for an extra 30 days. When you come into the airport in Bali, or anywhere in Indonesia, you need to get the visa on arrival, which is 35 US dollars, and that gives you 30 days, and then you can go to a visa extension office and pay another $35, and a little fee, you have to get fingerprinted and your photo taken, they give you your visas, and then you can stay for 60 days in the country without leaving. Uh, otherwise, you can stay for free for 30 days, but then you have to fly to Singapore or somewhere. So it was cheaper and more convenient for us to get the 60 day stay. Just one thing, when you are in customs, they're gonna ask for your boarding pass. So make sure you keep your boarding pass. This place is called Warung Jawa. Fantastic food for almost nothing. Like $2, you can totally stuff yourself. It's amazing. The food here is fantastic. Eggs, and these are and they're really spicy and good. And I don't know what that is yet, but I've heard it's some sort of meat. All of this massive amount of food, $3 for the both of us. Score! Kite season is actually a thing in Bali. And a cool thing it is. Oh, Hannah. 
from from Perth, Australia. From Ireland, Australia, Perth. Go, Go Ducks! Ducks. <laughs> yeah. We found yet another Mexican restaurant in Google. This one's supposed to be extra awesome. <laughs> and it has good artwork. He has fries, kind of like nachos with fries. Nachos, quite small. Look at me. All right, who says you can't get great Mexican food in Indonesia? Look at this. Pork belly chicharron tacos. Beef tacos. How's it compared to Mexico? It's totally different. <laughs> wow, those were delicious. Surprised. Delicious. This has been going on for two days. I think we're going to be inside for a while longer. Yep, still raining. Going on a week now. And this is the dry season, supposedly. If you like our video, click the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that wasn't.